What's in season? What's in season? What's in season? I hear you ask. Chart everybody, or silver beat, if you want to call it that, if you're from a different part of the world. What's in season? I hear you asked. Our next recipe is going to be Swiss chard, I suppose it's called. That's probably the better name for it. And I have some beautiful chard here in this bed that I'm going to pick and take inside and cook. I've had quite a few people ask me about recipes for chard. They say they're very good at growing it, but not very good at uh, cooking with it. And we use it all the time. This is my third uh, section of chard. I've got another two on the go. I've always got some in rotation. So what we're going to do today is we are going to pick it. And this is how we pick it. Here's a red stalk here. You just snap it off at the base and that is what you get. Look how beautiful that is. I'm going to pick you another one here which is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that golden chard. And then of course the white chard is probably the hardiest I would say. This really you cannot kill. Um, and I can see in this bed, so I have this covered with the cloche and I can see it's actually starting to grow now. So it's gotten a little bit milder underneath the cloche. Um, I will do my picking, take it inside and I'll see you soon. So here we are in the kitchen with my lovely Swiss chard that I picked earlier and um, I still can't get over how beautiful that is. Isn't that just gorgeous? Anyhow, I'm going to chop it up in a minute. So um, this recipe, so Swiss chard, we use it a lot. I have it growing all year round and uh, there's quite a few recipes already on my Instagram feed if you want to go and have a look. Um, people have asked me about what do we make with Swiss chard. Well, I use it as a, uh, anything that uses spinach, I will use Swiss chard. Um, it is a, it's a little bit stronger in taste, but I love that. Fantastic. This recipe, I'm going to make a soup, and I'm going to make a Swiss chard and lentil soup. And I found this recipe when I was having a very good look on one of my favorite seed company sites called Baker Creek Seeds or rareseeds.com. And they're a fantastic company because not only do they have great seeds, but also when you go into Swiss chard, the one vegetable, they have recipe suggestions and also suggestions of how to grow the stuff. And as I was scrolling through the recipes, I noticed this one and, that, and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna make this. This is a Lebanese soup and the original recipe comes from a lady by the name of Tess Malos and she wrote a Middle Eastern cookery book and it is from that. It's very, very simple. These are all the ingredients here. So what do we have? We have brown lentils. Now I don't often cook with brown lentils. I think I probably cook with every other type of lentil. So brown lentils, and I've got these organic brown lentils from Whole Food Earth, and that's them there. They're very pretty in colour. 280 grams of brown lentils. I have about a dozen stalks of chard, and what I'm going to do is I am going to take the leaves off and then shred the leaves. The stalks I will use for another recipe because I also like to use the stalks as well, but this is just leaves. There is 60 ml of good quality olive oil here. I have one onion chopped, finely chopped, four cloves of garlic, finely chopped as well. There's about a third of a cup of coriander, or if you want to be really precise, there's 15 grams of chopped coriander or cilantro. Uh, and the last thing here is 60 ml of lemon juice. That's it. So let's get started. 
Here are the lentils, all cooked. Make sure that you do wash them thoroughly because you'll find little bits of um, uh, grass and dried things and you might find the odd stone. And I once lost a filling on a lentil. So be, make sure you do that properly. Then you put it into a pan and to that pan you add one and a half litres of cold water. Bring it to the boil and then turn it right down to a really low simmer. Put the lid on and simmer for an hour. And if any scum comes up to the top, you just take that scum off. But mine didn't because I think I probably washed it about 20 times. So I have got my pan on the heat and then I put my olive oil in. And when that is heated up, I then add the onions. Always wait for your olive oil to heat up. And you know when it's heated up because you can start to smell it. I mean, you don't burn it. And then from there, that's my, this is a huge onion, isn't it? Wow, that is a huge onion. Right, when it goes in like that, and you've got this sizzling, then you turn the heat right down. And I always, I'm gonna say it again, I always like to cook my onions for at least 10 minutes. As you can see, the onions have cooked beautifully. They've gone really golden. They're little, I did them a little bit over, but it doesn't matter. It'll add to the flavor. I put the garlic in and, they've, and that's been in there for a couple of minutes. And now I'm going to add the um, shredded chard. That all goes in. And I will now cook this until everything wilts. And chard doesn't have a lot of water in it. I mean, it depends. Because if you really, if you washed it and you had a lot of water, you might have to wait for a while because you want the mixture to be, to be quite dry. Because we are going to then add this to the lentils. And in actual fact, when this cooks down, this is a really, really lovely side dish that we eat all the time. We have, um, it depends on what we're eating. So if we're doing it with a curry, then we'll put maybe a few cumin seeds in, but it's really, really good. Onion, garlic, and then chard. And it's a really lovely side dish. So we will cook this and you can see it's already starting to reduce. It virtually reduces to nothing. But in a couple of minutes, this will be ready. And here it is. I haven't wilted it too much because it's now going to go into the lentils. Here are the lentils and they were, they're cooked beautifully, very, very tender. And I'm just heating that up again. I took them off and now I'm heating it back up. And as that heats, I can see it's already starting to move. So it's already starting to boil. This mixture now goes into the lentils. Sorry, again, I am using my left hand because I'm left-handed. Um, that goes in like that. See what I mean by went to nothing? It just goes down to absolutely nothing, but it's beautiful. So that is the start of that. Then to that, we add the coriander that we chopped. That goes in and the lemon juice that goes in. And I'm going to season it at this stage. Beautiful. Season with a little bit of salt. You can use sea salt. This is a kosher salt that I use and we love it. I'll put a bit in there. Some pepper. Use the rest of that. If you want a little bit more spice, you can put a bit of chili in, but I think what we'll do is we'll cook it and then we'll maybe put the chili at the end. Okay, so that then is like that. We put the lid on this and then this cooks for another 15 to 20 minutes. So here is the finished product. I've kept it in the pan because apparently this dish is better the next day, like a lot of stews and soups actually. So uh, I've seasoned it a little bit more, uh, tasted it. If you're worried about the lemon juice being too strong, don't. Because the lemon, when you cook it for 15 to 20 minutes, the lemon juice dissipates really beautifully. That is going to be our probably lunch tomorrow. And you can just hear the sizzle in the background 
of a few sausages that we might have a few it's actually a vegan recipe <laughs> but if you're not a vegan and you fancy a sausage i'm sure sausages will go with this really really well so that's it that's my first chard recipe on youtube so if you do like my youtube please subscribe and uh, like my videos because then you will continue to get what's in season i hear you ask and um, we'll see you next time bye what's in season what's in season what's in season i hear you ask